Stone prices have increased massively due to the announcement that they are fixing the stone market. So we're going to do 30 minutes of stone gathering in a tier 4 blue zone. This is Saddle Tor. Saddle Tor is currently not open to Albion East for some reason as of this recording. Hopefully it opens soon. Uh, but to get there, you go from Bridge Watch and you just go west all the way to Saddle Tor. It's a tier 4 zone. It has the Stone Outcroft, which means there is a high concentration of Travertine, which used to be worthless. It used to be like 7 silver per Travertine. Now it's up to 40. And it's only going to go up because of the hype for the new, um, you know, announcements for the, the new patch stuff, the new weapon line, the new armors, possibly. So what we're going to do is, yes, I am in Tier 8 Gathering, and I am on the West server. If you are a new player and you think that it's unfair that I'm showing you Tier 8 Gathering... You, you can bang this out in a week if you want without learning points. You just gotta you just gotta make gathering your main mission goal. So I'm gonna eat a pork pie and uh, let's get started. And so the way I'm doing this is I have other tools for the zone. I also have a pickaxe and a uh, wood chopping axe, both tier eight. And I'm only going to harvest those resources if they are enchanted because right now my the set I'm wearing is simply just for Quarrier, which is the stone gathering nodes, which means I get a bonus because of the pork pie and the gathering uh, equipment. Uh, when I harvest stone, I get like bonus resources. So you can see here, gather bonus plus three, uh, you know, gather bonus plus three and so on and so forth. And uh, technically tier two stone is worth way more than the tier three and the tier four. So that's why I'm making it mostly a priority first. Uh, over the other ones. Now, you'll also notice my weapon is a tier 8.3 spite gauntlets, and the reason I use spite gauntlets is because it allows me to instantly kill uh, most enemy mobs. Now, I normally would stop and fight boss monsters like this because they're pretty good for fame, uh, and it also completes my daily bonus, which this is going to complete anyway from gathering. I don't have to worry about it. But for the sake of the video, uh, we are doing a 30 minute run based on the Pork Pies timer. Oh, that's an enchanted dungeon. I need to come back and solo that later too. Ooh, that's good money. That is a 4.2 uh, dungeon, group dungeon, which I can totally just blow up with a set. I have videos on my channel that show off how to do that kind of stuff. And so uh, right now, I'm just gathering tier 2 materials. I'm going to go up to the tier 4 area here in just a bit and see if there's any other players currently farming it. Now, let's talk about respawn timers. Alright, so tier 2 nodes respawn in one minute, and they have a full yield after three minutes. Uh, and then tier 2 nodes, they respawn in two minutes with a full yield in five. And, uh, or is it four? I forget. I think it's four. Now, also, I want to show you something cool here, too. I can use my armor's ability, and that's going to increase my gathering speed on stone. So you can see that I'm smashing it way faster when it's active. So I like to save that when there's a lot of stone around. So there we go. Uh, what else are we talking about? Uh, also, I do have uh, tier 2 journals. And like I said, the tier 2 materials are worth far more than the tier 3 and 4. Now, normally when you do journals, you would do tier 4 journals because they have a chance to be enchanted. However, enchanted stone doesn't work the, the same way it does for other resources. Enchanted stone simply allows you to refine more stone. It is not currently used to craft like 0.1, 0.2, or 0.3 equipment. That would be cool if it, if it could. Also, another note, I am using an Avalonian tool, which gives me an increased gathering yield of 20% as well. So all in all, my gathering yield is around... Now, I don't have premium, so that's that's 50% I'm lacking, but when I'm gathering, my gather yield is 129.5. And part of that is because of my specialization. You can increase your gathering spec by just gathering more. Uh, so the more you gather, the more you can gather, and once you hit tier 8 tools, you can gather very fast. I do understand that players without tier 8 gathering... You know, uh, it does take you much longer to harvest these resources. And, you know, the way I see it, because because I started a character on, on East, I remember what it's like to be new. Uh, it just gives you more time to binge watch anime, honestly. Like, yeah, you're not going to make as much per hour at first because you're in a lower tier. Lower tier equipment gathers slower with less bonus. I understand. But you can get there in a week. You just do this for a week straight and there you go. 
And if you do it casually, like 30 minutes a day with learning points, you can get you can do it in under a month. It's not hard. It's still, yeah, it's time consuming, but that's MMORPGs. And once you once you get there, you're you're golden forever. And this is a zero loss activity. Yes, I do have a repair bill. It looks like someone's been here, by the way. There's a lot of missing nodes. Uh, so yes, this is an activity, you know, that does cause you a repair bill, but th the amount you earn is far more than your repair bill. So it's worth having an Avalonian tool over a regular tool in your earnings alone. There's a 0.3 node. These things are worth about 600 right now, which compared to other resources, not that good. Uh, but it does fill way more journals because journals filling is based on how much fame you get when you harvest. And there's a lot of players here right now. I guess a lot of people are, you know, they're feeling the gold rush. They're like, oh, Travertine's worth money again. Let's go. And so they're, they're all out here doing the same thing that I wanted to do. Also, do note that it's better if you do this during off hours, during the weekday, if you can. I am playing on a weekday, actually in the middle of the week, it's a, I believe it's a Wednesday, I think. But it is not, it's, it's still not at nighttime, it's at 1600, well, almost 1600 UTC. Which means there's still a lot of players around, and technically there's 11 players in this zone, which is not a lot, but it looks like they're all focusing on stone, because it is, you know, the place to go for stone. So, going up here towards the top of the map, it's not so good for my earnings right now. So, I'm going to return back towards the bottom and just do some basic loops. I won't get as many Tier 4 nodes because I know this map like the back of my hand. Most of the Tier 4 nodes are at the top and to the left part of the map. But there are a few good juicy spots with Tier 4 nodes if they've spawned that day. Because the way the spawns work is they're semi-random. Also, when you mine Tier 4 nodes, you do have a chance to get a Gathering Tome which is used to, you know, give you gathering experience. They, It's never a good idea to use those tomes. It's always a better idea to simply sell them. And there we go. We did our daily bonus. I'm going to collect my 10k little fame tome there just so I don't forget because I always forget. All right, so that's done. It took uh, seven minutes of gathering. Not too bad, actually. It takes usually about four to five if I just run out into a blue or yellow zone and just kill mobs. So it's not really the fastest way to do your daily bonus, but, it, you know, I was going to do this anyway. And, you know, once the 30 minutes are up, I'm not going to just go by estimated market value because that hasn't changed yet for the stone's value. We're just going to quick sell it to Bridgewatch. We're not even going to refine it. And then we're just going to get a total that way. Now, normally you would want to refine at least the tier 2. You would have to do the math for the tier 3 and 4. I get asked all the time what's should I should I just sell it raw or sh should I refine it and the answer is you have to do the math you have to uh, account for the the crafting bench fees you have to account there's so many enchanted mobs out here I should be killing these uh, you have to account for um, how much the refined material will sell versus unrefined versus the fees and the taxes there's there's a whole lot of stuff you gotta do but today we're just sell we're just selling it raw because, well, I'm lazy, and as you can tell, I have 196 million on me, and even more in gold. Um, and even more in gold that's not that I'm not showing right now, which I'm going to make a video on. Kind of a cheeky video. You can see here, I've got all these referral rewards to claim, and these are all 1,000 gold each. That's And I can spend this on East. I can literally start the East server with 20,000 gold, and then just buy silver, and then buy islands, and buy this, and buy that, and... I don't think I'm going to, because I just, I don't, like, East is okay, I just, I jump on there occasionally to do some faction fighting, since everyone's kind of undergeared at the moment, which is a lot of fun, you know, it, it honestly is, so let's, let's see that 4.2 note I mined, that's 6k, it's not really that bad, oh, that was for metal, by the way, that was not for stone, 4.2 stone won't be worth nearly as much, but, like I said, it's still worth at least something, and it's only going to go up, and if the if the new weapon line will require stone, especially enchanted stone, we still don't know how that's going to work yet. You're you're looking at big money because every time a new weapon line drops, the raw resources just increase significantly. It's it's massive. Like you're looking at like tier four materials being worth 500 silver each, which you know if you're getting 32 of those per like mine. Like if I had premium, I would be getting 32 to 40 on every tier four node. Um, so that'd be like 40 times 500. Alright, so that's like, what? 
20,000 almost or something. It's something really ridiculous. It's such a stupid huge amount. And the reason why is because there are whales that will pay an infinite amount of money to be the first people on the server to max out the crafting. So, yeah, we uh, we basically done a, a full lap so far, and I can mine the The great thing about having faster mining is you can mine stuff and run away before enemies interrupt your, uh, your mining. So, that's really cool. And you can see down here, all these nodes are full. Like, people aren't coming down here. They're, they're just hanging out at the top where the tier 4 nodes are. So, you, you really have to, like, learn the routes. I know this map like crazy. So, if, like, there's a lot of players in one part of the map, I just move to a different part. And it does suck that, um... <laughs> This this space is not open on East, because my plan was to use the three days of premium from the tutorial and then come straight here and just mine like crazy. And and that was going to be my, you know, like <laughs> like a little video series, but it's not open. So I, I haven't redeemed the three days of premium yet. Uh oh, <laughs> shot a big arrow. Um, <laughs> but yeah, here's what I'm talking about, right? I can just push my E spell and they're dead now. If I had 8.4 or more spec, that mob would also be dead, but I don't have any spec in War Gloves, except for the Spike Gauntlets. Maybe I'll work on it in the future, but I just don't like Spike Gauntlets. I don't think they're that fun. I don't even think they're that cool of a weapon. The only use is the Spike Gauntlets for smashing low-tier mobs in the open world. They're not even good for dungeons, so that's why I've never bothered to really level them up all the way. I just don't see the point. There we go. And now, you may be thinking that I'm just leaving money on the ground by not mining these tier 2 copper nodes. And the reason why I'm not is because I don't have gathering gear for metals. Which, yes, I can I can totally gather them, but I won't be getting the same gather bonus that I do with the limestone. So it's more time, it's more efficient, money-wise, to skip the, the small non-enchanted nodes and just go for stone. That's why I'm doing it. I, I've run many tests on my channel. I probably have over 50 videos where I really dive deep into the sciences of gathering. So I, if you don't want to take my word for it, I have so many science research videos on gathering where I actually ask these questions and then I run tests. We got a guy out here also gathering some stone. Uh, I'm going to yoink that too. Well, there we go. I, oh, we got, a, we got a hostile faction player. Now I am faction flagged so I can get faction points while gathering. And this guy, well, he can run away from me. I don't think I can kill him, but he can't kill me. He's too undergeared. Oh, he's doing a transport anyway. He's not going to dismount. Also, I don't have my ganking set with me, so I can't break his transport. So, no threat there. You know, you just got to... You always want to inspect every enemy hostile player to see what they're up to. Based on what gear they have, you can kind of see what their intentions are. If that guy was rolling around here in full 8.4 combat gear and not doing a transport, then I would be a little more worried about, you know, what he's doing on my screen. You know, I'd be watching for his nameplate, I'd be seeing if he's dismounting, I'd be listening closely to see if he's, like, dismounting off my screen and trying to set up an ambush, stuff like that. But he's not. He's just he's just doing a little tier 2 transport. I don't know why he went through Saddle Tour, though. He's going the long way around. He is not being efficient at all, and... Faction transporting, absolutely, it's just not worth doing. It's just, it does not build your character. You get, you get a little bit of silver, but you could be doing anything else to make silver and progress your character, which is very important in this game, is to progress your character. So, like, I see a lot of people, they, they just spread out their progress big time. They'll blow all their learning points on something dumb, and then they'll wonder why they're stuck in low tiers forever, not making any silver. And, and honestly, like... All the guides that I put out, I've given people the clear road to success. Do this first, save up your money, buy this first, do this, do that. And once you have all of this foundation laid out, then you just start raking in the dough. And I know that SBI nerfed the guild method, which really sucked. That was, that was a real slap in the face to new players. I can't believe they did that. But um, right now on East, there's no one farming laborers. There's not a single person leveling up laborers to sell. So that is an open market. If you manage to save up 4 million silver and you buy your own guild for, well, it's 500k due to global discount. But you buy your own guild, 500k, and then you drop 3 million on the guild island. And then you, you get this, like, stone's a little expensive on East, by the way. So stone is a pretty good moneymaker right now, too. But you, uh... <laughs> 
you drop the guild hall on it, you know, and then you start leveling up laborers. You just use generalist journals, you can level up laborers. You can also just use the laborers to get ahead if, you, if you're if you like a gatherer. Like right now, I filled up 17 of these journals. That's 17 times 57 because every laborer will return 57 tier 2 stone. How much tier 2 stone is that? 57, right? That is 2k each. That's that's nice. That's real that's just free money that I'm just getting because I own guild islands and laborers. And you may think it's gonna take forever to pay back the cost. And that is true. That is part of it. It is an investment. You don't see returns immediately. You will be in the red for a little while. It's not that long. And if you plan to play this game a very long time, and here's the thing with Albion Online, right? It's it's always gonna be there for you. You can go off and play World of Warcraft for a couple years, and you come back, and your character's still tier 8. Your character's still, you know, you know, fully leveled up. You still have your guild islands. They don't go anywhere. It's not like, oh, the server died and everyone left. Well, maybe. E West might die, because now there's two servers. There used to only be one server. So we might see a little bit of that. So we're, we're now currently 15 minutes in. Okay, maybe 16 minutes in, whatever, and, uh, you know, we got we got quite a bit of, uh, of, uh, of uh, stone here. Not a lot of tier 4 stone, because, well, there's not a lot on the south part of the map. But, oh, see, the zone is down to 7 players. I might go back up top and check. Yeah, let, let, let's swing back up and uh, see... That guy's got a mule. I feel bad. I feel like I should give him a million. Well, he's not flagged for bridge watch. Um... He's not in my Discord, so I have no reason to help him. So, if you want help in this game, and you manage to pass my Discord questionnaire, which, to date, um, I, there was one guy that almost passed, but he couldn't identify memes. Which means he was a normie. He, he, uh, he had no idea what the abstract art was. But he passed everything else. He, he was the closest one in the last, like, two weeks. So, yeah, we haven't had anyone pass it in quite a while. But, uh, if you do, and you want to actively play, shoot! You could, on West, you could, I, I'll do group dungeons with you. You can just sit back and chill, and I'll just kill everything. And you'll get so much fame so fast. I'll give you some, I'll, look, I'm loaded, bro. After the, uh, the market died for skins, I'm, I'm sitting on liquid silver like crazy. And I'm about to push this beyond, like, two to maybe 300 million whenever I sell gold. I'm waiting for gold, I'm waiting for this to go up. Uh, and then I'm gonna sell all my gold and just sit on that money. And uh, I don't have anything to spend it on. Shoot, if I do more live streams, people just give me their money when they quit. So it's like, okay, sure, why not? So yeah, join the Discord, bros. There's a, There's been a link in the description every single video. And um, yeah, you pass that questionnaire, we get along, you know, I'll take you through group dungeons. Because I gotta do some fame farming, okay? I don't know if I want to max out daggers or if I just want to get a whole bunch of combat fame credits... Uh, for the new weapon line that's coming, because I like to, you know, if it's a good weapon line, I definitely want to max it out. It would be cool to, like, wouldn't that be cool, right? That would be like a video thing. It's like, okay, day one of the new weapon line, I'm already level 100 in the entire weapon tree. Let's go. Let's make some content. Let's go PvP with it. Let's go, I don't know, farm dungeons or something with it. You know, what? whatever whatever the weapon line is good at, we can go do on the first freaking day. And I think that would be really fun. But if it's like a crappy support weapon or a ZVZ weapon line, then it's like, there's no point. That's why I don't level um, the arcane staffs. I think the arcane staffs are cool. I think they're pretty good. Uh, but they're mostly used for group play, and I just don't have the friends. I just don't do the group stuff, so I don't... There's no point for me to really do it. And yeah, these are still one-hit nodes. Well, the, the green ones aren't. No, I don't want to click the marmot. I want to click the sandstone. Yes, let's go. And we're just going to delete these nodes. You know, there's one other player up here to my north. Looks like he's mining. And, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get some tier 4 nodes, you know. They're not as good as the tier 2 ones that we've been passing up, so I still don't think it's worth it, really, for me to come up here. Especially, you know, since they're not full. But, hey, it's, it's still something to do, you know. It fills the journals. Uh, and, and the way I've been doing journals lately is I don't like... Like, used to, I would just have, like, 24 to 48 laborers of all types. And then when I filled up that many journals, I just run them. Which, uh, right now, the way I'm doing it is I fill up, like, seven to 800 journals. And then I change all my islands into that one laborer. And then I just run them all on one day and be done. 
So, because, I mean, it's not like I need the money or silver or anything. I'm <laughs> I'm pretty much retired at this point in Albi, and I am like, this is just, uh, this is when you see an old guy working at uh, Walmart who's just there for fun. He's just there for social interaction. I'm just here mining stone for a video for you guys, so you have somebody to listen to while you eat your scrumptious meal <laughs> or something. I don't know. Man, so, all the animes I've been watching are ending, and they're all kind of, like, the endings all sucked, man. I, I'm not gonna, like, get into spoiler territory or talk about it. Um, I'm not really an anime channel, but it's like, now what am I gonna watch? I, I still haven't ever seen Game of Thrones, so there's that. I mean, I guess I could start that up. I, I stopped watching uh, The Walking Dead whenever Negan showed up, so I don't know what happens after that dude. Um, <laughs> but he was a fun character. I just got busy with real life at the time. I think I was still a wagey. Uh, so yeah, we're still mining the stone, you know, we're still getting the stone. Still making that dosh, making those dollars. And I'll, I'll pop up text at, towards the end of the video, you know, and show you how much um, we made in 30 minutes without premium. By the way, you know, that is very important to specify without premium, okay? And it might not be that much. It's not going to be nearly as much as skinning, because skinning is still really good. And the, ba the chance to drop babies... And also, it depends if we get a, you know, a gathering tome from the Tier 4 nodes, which I haven't seen one of those in weeks. I think they really nerfed the drop rate. It's it, it, it's getting bad. I have not seen a single one on East. I mean, yeah, in the market, sure. But not, I, I have been mining nonstop. I have been smashing rocks nonstop on East. I mean, I even did a live stream. Go to my channel. There's a live stream tab. You can go watch it. It's like, it's seven hours straight of just mining. <laughs> Um, stone. Smashing stone. Yikers, dude. Alright, so. Uh, we got, what, like 10 more minutes of this to go? Cool. And I know I'm not being maximum efficient. I'm not, I'm not even running a route. I'm just, oh, there we go. We got 1,250 faction points today. Very cool. You know, just faction points from mining. Not bad. You know, you get 9,000. That's like 250,000 fame. 100k silver, you know, it, it adds up over time. It's not bad. Let's smash these point dexters in. There we go. That's why we have the spike gauntlets like I mentioned earlier. Very cool. Very cool indeed. So yeah, there's only six people in the zone now. West is dying. West, it, like, it's not even, like, off hours. It's slowing down from prime time, that's for sure, but it is, man, people are quitting like crazy on this on this server, man. It's sad. You hate to see it. Don't want to see it go. And uh, one day I'll be out here... <laughs> I can't even speak. I'll be out here gathering and there won't be anyone to buy my stuff left. I'll have to migrate to East. And then I'm going to regret that I didn't spend the 20,000 gold that I got from referrals on East. But hopefully by then we're playing a new, fresh, more interesting game. Because, I'm going to be honest, I've got over 500 videos on this channel of this game. That's a lot. <laughs> i got to play other games, man. i got to play something else or I'm going to go crazy. I don't want to go crazy. I mean, I'm already considered crazy by most. It's it's sad to see. You hate to see it. But, um, you know, I have been, I have been such an Albion boogeyman that um, I have convinced everyone that I am I am literally the Albion boogeyman. <laughs> I am he sh who shall not be named, or their stream chats will, you know, be torn into drama. It's really interesting to see. I, I you know, you hate to see it. You know, I mean, you know those Twitch drops with those stupid skins? I think I've got, like, all of them. <laughs> and, uh, I don't know why I'm still collecting, like, the little tokens. You can't even buy anything with them. At least, not that I know that you can. And... <laughs> Oh man, it's so funny that I click a random stream and they're always talking. It's so, it's like coincidental. It's like, I wonder what this streamer's doing. Clicks on stream. Ugh, swell bingy, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I just want to be like, hey, why are you talking smack? I'm here in your chat, bro. That, that would just throw them for a huge loop. And sometimes I do, you know, sometimes I do, but... Uh, then, the, then their audience, like, tries to gang up on me, like, like it matters. It's like, bro, I've been on the internet since the 90s. I've, <laughs> I, I, live, I survived the 90s internet. Do you know how the 90s internet was like? It was, it was <laughs> the Wild West, okay? We drew our gamer word revolvers and we had a showdown at high noon. 
And whoever threw out the most gamer words on these V-Bulletin forums got the ban or something. I, I don't know. I actually never did get banned from a V-Bulletin forum for gamer words. It was always, like, just pissing off the wrong, like, old guy that has, like, 4,000 posts and calling him out on his bullshit. But because he's, like, been with the community for, like, a million years, like, no one would disagree with the guy. And I'd show up with, like, 10 posts on some forum and be like, yeah, you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I don't believe you, bro. And yeah, it's that's just how it was. I, I've been banned from every, almost everything I've ever done or played. Every game, every forum. Uh, well, maybe it's something wrong with you, bro. Well, maybe it is. Maybe it's like, you know how like Goku hit his head when he was a kid and he decided not to conquer Earth because he forgot? Well, maybe I was a normal kid and I got hit in the head and I became super evil. It's like reverse Goku. Or something. I don't know what, what I'm talking about, but the point is is that I am just built. I am, My purpose <laughs> on this planet is to get banned from everything, it seems. And, uh, yeah. That's just, that's just how it is, man. <laughs> and I find it amusing, you know? It's like, um, you know, when I when I had a, a dynamic IP, which means I can remake Reddit accounts over and over, I would see it, like, I, like, I would speedrun getting perma banned. I would literally just speedrun it. <laughs> uh, it. You know, fun times. Fun times indeed. That is a hidden treasure. Yep, right there hidden in the mountains. Okay, I know I didn't get all the stone over there. It's okay, guys. It's fine. Uh, and so, and I, I've had people ask me, why a boar? And the reason why you want to use a boar is because they're faster. Uh, they Their carry weight transfers to you even if they are not summoned. So if I walk too far away from this boar and it unsummons, like, I'm not overweight. I won't be overweight. I will still have my normal weight and I can still move around freely. So they're super useful. Uh, this guy, this guy's overweight though. <laughs> he's trans, he's, he's doing something. <laughs> Maybe he got, he had too much stone on him. I didn't mean to loot the damn rough logs. Jeez, get those out of my inventory. I know, they're worth 40 silver. <laughs> that guy's mouth's super injured. What's he doing? Okay, get the limestone. That's right, big money limestone. And you know, you know, because travertine went up in price, so did all the other stones. So I'm a little excited to see how much the limestone is going for now. Um, I wonder just how lucrative this actually will be. Hopefully, the price hasn't crashed since yesterday because it, it went wild yesterday, man. I mean, I'm still in March. You're probably gonna be watching. No, no, actually, I'm I'm not ahead on videos. You're probably gonna see this on March 31st. Is probably and it's the 29th for me. If you if you're curious, I'm filming this on March 29th. You'll see it on the 31st if everything goes according to schedule and I don't like get some natural disaster knocking my internet out for weeks on end <laughs> again. <laughs> yes, that's happened before. People are like, why don't you stream more? It's like, well, I don't know. Why doesn't the weather just calm down and let me live? Every other day, the weather gets really bad and, like, everyone evacuates. And I'm just sitting here like, nah, just kill me. Just, just let me die. <laughs> just let the weather just sweep me away into, into the void. In the peaceful void. My troubles will be over. I won't have to upload videos anymore. I can just drift away into slumber. You know, it's like going to sleep. It ain't that bad, guys. I know a lot of you guys are probably scared of dying, but it's not that bad. It's just like going to bed. It's like you, you get tired and then you just die. And then it's like you're asleep and you don't have to worry anymore. There's no worries. There's no pain. There's no stress. You're just dead. It's great. It's awesome. You should look forward to it. You know, you should be happy that it's coming. You know, you don't want to be stuck here forever, do you? You don't want to be... You know, unless your life is, I guess if your life's really cool, you know, if you got the six-figure job and you got the, you know, you know, you're living in the high-rise apartment or something in a big city with fancy new Lambos or Bugattis or whatever the, whatever fancy cars rich people drive. I, I never understood that. If I was, like, super wealthy, I don't think I would want to drive a Lambo. They, they don't look comfortable to sit in. Have you seen the insides of a Lambo? They're, like, you have to, like, scrunch in there. You have to be like a little soy boy to fit in one. It sucks. And, uh, you, you know, if I was going to drive a nice car, I want a big car. Like, 
like not not like a a Humvee or something, but just something big that you step into. And I don't mean one of those big gas guzzling trucks that like you can't even see like the road in front of you because the hood is too high. Nah, man, just something comfy and nice and 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 safe. About a South uh, a South American armored vehicle. You can buy one of those for seven hundred thousand dollars. Like, I would rather drive one of those than a freaking Lambo. I mean, think about it. Like, if someone decides to shoot at you, you're in an armored vehicle. What are they going to do? You can just roll over. If you, if you get in a car wreck, you're going to, like, you're not going to be injured. Like, a car, a regular car can go, like, 100 miles an hour into you. And if you're in an armored vehicle, you take zero damage. Like, those things are built to withstand rocket blasts. So, <laughs> why aren't rich people driving around in armored vehicles? And I don't mean like a little hum, like a little army humby. I'm talking like the APC carriers, you know, the big freaking. They got like eight wheels or something, and like gun holes on the sides, and little escape hatches on the top and stuff. And we're almost done with our gathering here. We've got just a few more minutes, maybe even seconds. I don't know, but I do want to grab just a few more before we head back. You know, let's just pick out these real quick. I know my food buff just wore off. Just gonna grab a few more, just a few more. Okay, there we go. We did it. We filled the journal. We have 41 journals filled. Let's head back and uh, let's see how much money we made. And you know, normally I would factor in the journals too. So let let's go ahead and just do that real quick. Okay, we got 41 times 57. That's that's 2,337 stone. Uh, so that's not bad. Let's see how much that would be. Uh, let's. Grab one of these bad boys out. 35. Let's see what the market says. Alright, and we're going to get some text on screen here. Money earned in 30 minutes. Uh, journals. 41 times 57. Equals. Yeah, give me a sec. I'll show it up on the screen. 2,337. Equals. And uh, we'll, we'll, we'll start there. So there we go. Let's get that up on the screen. Very cool. Live editing, boys. Alright, so limestone. Not block. I just want the resource of stone. So we're going to times that by 38. Alright. Uh, let's see. Times 30. And I know this uh, is not really the best like formula, but 2337 times 38 is 88.8. .8. It's about, yeah, it's that much silver, so that's cool. Alright, so how about uh, limestone itself? Let's start with limestone, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 717. So we take 3,717 limestone, 17 times, and what was that number, 38? equals very cool so 3717 times 38 it's 141k there we go very cool and then sandstone let's go look up sandstone now sandstone is 43 if we sell it but how much sandstone do we have we have uh 1506 it looks like let's sort yeah 1506 times 43 equals Let's do that now. 1506 times 43 is 64k. Not that good. Alright, and then travertine. Let's go travertine. Oh boy, we have 920. Not a lot. Didn't really get a lot. It's only 30 minutes of farming. Uh, and then times. How much is travertine going for? Let's, let's see it on the market. 62. Dang, dude. That's so much more. 62. Uh, let's see, 902 times 62 is 55.9k, and then total, we're going to add this up, 141, 246 plus 88, 806 plus 64, 758 plus 55924, 350.7k in 30 minutes, which is not that good, it's honestly not that good. So, uh, limestone blocks are 27 and limestone resource is 39, so I'd have to do the math on refining that. But I'm not going to. And then we had some enchanted stuff, which it doesn't really matter. But there you go. We made, uh, it's about 700k an hour right now. It's not the prettiest. But it's, um, uh, and then you, you can, you can also argue, well, what about the repairs? I'll, I'll show you the repair bill. Okay, guys, I'll show you the repairs. Fine. 
<laughs> okay, so repairs are 36.9k. There you go. Alright, not that bad. And then, you know, fa faction warfare points, I think I have enough. Yes, I do have enough for a chest, and we're going to go ahead and buy one now. Now, I didn't earn enough in this in this farming session for the chest, but you can see here when I open the chest, you know, it's just, it's just free money. That's 20k, that's 10k, that's another 20k, and that's 36k, 50, so that's like 70k, man. It's like, no, wait, I'm doing that wrong. 36, 22, that's... 59, that's 60, that's about 80k in silver right there. Not bad. And then we got, we only got one, did I only, did I really only get one fame? No. That was only worth 200k. That, I got gypped on fame. That sucks. I got lowballed hard. That was a really bad chest. All right, well, there you go, guys. We did, we did some stone gathering in the, the new stone market. And, uh. Let's, let's just fast sell everything now and uh, see where my silver moves up to. There we go. Just get rid of it all. 400. Not bad. And I'm just fast selling. I know I'm getting gypped on a lot of this stuff, but I don't care. That's fine. 36. Oh, I'm getting big gypped on that. I don't care, though. I really don't. I'm just, I just want the money now. It's my money and I want it now. <laughs> oh. Good stuff indeed. I wonder if tier 2 like journals for stone ever went up. Uh, let's see. Stone, rough stone 98. Holding strong. Not a lot of new players on West to supplement that. And how much are these? 800. Oh yeah, we're keeping those. And there we go. We sold our stuff. We're 196, well 195.7 on the, on the silver there. I didn't check what it was beforehand, but that's fine. Then pork pie prices, that's like 4k, whatever. Easy peasy. We did it. We gathered. You got to watch. You got to listen. I'm Soul Benji. Thanks for watching. As always, be a bro and stay swole. Let me know what you thought. Uh, on the right side of your screen is video you should absolutely click. If you want more advanced guides to make even more money, I think there's an advanced guide for members only. Members only is there, right down here where my cursor is bouncing. There's a join button. Five bucks a month, you get access to private, more personal videos that are... Too good for the public. These are advanced guides, advanced ways to make money that if I showed everyone how to do it and, you know, like a video gets, gets like 10,000 views, then no one can do it because if everyone's doing it, no one will profit. And that's just the, that's just how it is in these games. So uh, that's why I keep them, you know, members only for supporting me. I support you guys and go ahead and throw all this stuff back in my little chest here where it goes store everything where it belongs very very nice indeed this chest seriously fell below 500 million something went way down in value in this chest i don't know what it is it used to be over 500 million yikes dude money's depreciating help anyway guys five bucks a month it's like on twitch become a channel member if you can afford it if not join the discord and that's a way to get the info for free if you are compatible with me but you gotta pass the questionnaire so there you go Click the video on the right side of your screen. I read every comment. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next video. I'll see you then. Take care.